Hi, this is Karen, and this is an unboxing video. I'm filming this on Wednesday afternoon. This box has travelled all over Victoria in the last four days. Literally all over Australia. I have watched it bounce from one post office to another, getting more and more frustrated. Anyway, it finally arrived today. So how about we dive in? Okay, as you can see, I've already taken the brown packaging out. And I can't really remember what I've ordered, to be honest. So this will be interesting for both of us. Okay, this is Rose Metallic Thread. This is from the Petal Promenade Suite. I'm really slow off the mark with this one, um, but I really like it. That thread is absolutely stunning. So I haven't had any of the threads yet, so I'm really pleased with that and I'm looking forward to make using it. One of my daughters is actually getting married in March next year and we've got um, her kitchen tea coming up. My oldest daughter is actually going to be doing the kitchen tea. So that was why I wanted the Pretel Promenade because I think it'll make gorgeous invitations for her kitchen tea. And it doesn't matter if I've only got a couple of pieces of each paper because all of it will look stunning as invitations. Now this is part of the special release for November. It's a limited edition. And these are the Snowflake Adornments. You get two types from what I, yep, two different types from what you can see there. And they are absolutely stunning and they've got little rhinestones in the centre of each one. I think you get 12 of each in this box, I think. Don't quote me on it just yet, hang on. What's my eyesight like? No, I can't read the back of that. It is way too small for me. Uh, there's 20 in there, so you must get 10 of each. Okay, so that's part of the snowflakes, which are, as I said, limited edition. Now, I've been waiting for this to arrive because I ordered the rest of the um, suite a few Oh, a month ago and I've been waiting for this. It's the reversible ribbon which is Merry Merlot and Copper. Everybody's been raving about it so I've been hanging out for this to arrive as well as my copper embossing powder. Um, so I'll be able to start using that now. Okay, another part... Oh, my case is broken. Another part of um, the limited edition is this Happiness Surrounds. There's actually two stamp sets, and I'm not sure why, but I didn't order the other one. But um, this one's got a lot of different sentiments in which aren't just for the silly season that's coming up. We've got congratulations. Surround yourself with happiness. It's your day. Sending positive thoughts. Hello, friend, and here's to new beginnings. So this can be used for so many different things. And uh, it's a photopolymer stamp. So even though it'll stain, it doesn't harm the stamps. Beautiful set. This is my kindness and compassion. I can't remember which catalogue this is in, whether this is the new one as well. But I'm always at a loss for um, what to put inside sympathy cards. And we've always got them coming up. So I thought kindness and compassion is an ideal set to have. Our sincerest condolences with heartfelt gratitude. We're sincerely grateful for your kindness and compassion. It's deeply appreciated and will always be remembered by our family. Sending comforting hugs and healing prayers. So sorry for your loss. Thank you for your expression of sympathy and thank you from all of us. Absolutely um, important set to have in anybody's collection. If you're a card maker, you will use that. Now, these are the uh, Snowfall Thinlets. These actually are part of the limited edition. Sorry I'm all over the place with um, the unboxing of these, but it's just as they come out the box. Now, I believe this is two six by six cards of, yes, there we go. Look at all of those. Some of them will match these. 
and some won't. Some will match the others and some of them are actually standalone. I can't wait to start using those. So if you're not already a subscriber to my channel and you've just come because you've seen unboxing, please subscribe because I'll be using a lot of these in upcoming videos. Okay, shimmery white cardstock, only because with this you can do watercolour painting, which I don't do much of, but that's mainly because I've only got Whisper White um, and Very Vanilla cardstock, and when you're watercolouring, you've got to be very careful with those because they tend to pill. I believe the shimmery white cardstock doesn't pill, but I don't know whether you can actually see... Um, the shimmer that comes in this so I'll just um, do it and see if we can catch it on camera this is my first time having this I can see small flecks I don't know whether the camera is picking that up or not but I believe that it doesn't pill and I'm looking forward to using because I think it'll make really cute snowflakes too okay this was my uh, petal pink cardstock. I decided not to go with the multi-pack for the petal promenade. I wanted the um, petal pink instead and we've also got petal pink rhinestones to match. Now I have been waiting to order this and I finally got around to it. This is a tag, the, the scallop tag topper punch everybody seems to have one bar me so i'm looking forward to using that uh what is this oh this is our velvet cardstock this is also a limited edition now velvet sheet cardstock which is actually like the flopped paper in the santa's sweet dsp oh it feels it actually feels like velvet because when you go one way it's rough when you go that way it's smooth you can't see a difference when you run your finger over it but you can feel the difference so it is actually a velvet paper not just flopped can't wait to use that it's going to make some stunning snowflakes uh oh my silver foil sheets i needed more of those and the petal promenade oh, i can't wait to use this see what i mean it wouldn't matter which papers I'll just open the pack up I'm sure everybody's seen it over and over again from other demos who've ordered it but as I said when I saw this I thought it would be perfect for Amy's invitations for her morning tea or afternoon tea because I mean how gorgeous is, is are these papers petal promenade is stunning and the petal pink or Whisper White or even very vanilla cardstock would go with any of those. I could make so many invitations just with four sheets of that. But then you've got all of these pieces as well, which you've got some, you can make small elements for the front of cards. And just look at that. I mean, they are stunning. Photo realistic. Mm, that one's more of a vintage feel. I don't know. I would use that more as a sympathy card, I think. But um, that's more of a vintage feel. But look at the colour on the back. The, the vintage on the front. But on the back it's got this marble effect. Which is all these different colours of pinks and, and purples and everything. Oh, stunning. And then a petal pink type um, um, marble on the back of the pink. There's a grey, it looks like just grey distress on the back of that one. Petal pink foil, crinkle foil on the back of that one. I love that. Some more distressing, that looks more like um, a slate tile. What's on the back of that? Just a bokeh petal pink bokeh but oh, I just can't wait to start making the invitations so Melanie Coulter sorry that's not her surname she'll know who she is if you're watching this Melanie you better get me the list of uh, invitees for the kitchen tea so I can start those invitations okay that was my collection of unboxing for this time round the next unboxing I have won't be until the end of November, the beginning of December. 
because then I will be able to unbox um, some of the new goodies that will be in the summer catalogue over here in Australia um, for the January release. So that's it from me. Um, the next video will be released probably later today. Um, I do have another Christmas card and I'm on my last two Christmas cards with the Sanders Workshop Suite, I think. So stay tuned for those. Okay, that's enough from me for now. Bye-bye.